All right, so I want to talk about Walmart. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know if you guys have heard about what happened today, but so Josh Howley basically said, I'm going to commit. Actually, you know what? Let me just bring up his tweet. Here it is. Millions of voters concerned about election integrity deserve to be heard. I will object on January 6th on their behalf. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Listen to this. I'm going to read this whole statement. This is a statement on object objecting during electoral college certification process on January 6th. Quote, following both the 20, uh, 2004 and 2016 elections, Democrats in Congress objected during the certification of electoral votes in order to raise concern about election integrity. They were praised by Democratic leadership and the media when they did, and they were entitled to do so. But now, those of us concerned with the integrity of this election are entitled to do the same. I cannot vote to certify the Electoral College results on January 6th without raising the fact that some states, particularly Pennsylvania, failed to follow their own state election laws. And I cannot vote to certify without pointing out the unprecedented effort of mega corporations, including Facebook and Twitter, to interfere in this election in support of Joe Biden. At the very least, Congress should investigate allegations of voter fraud and adopt measures to secure the integrity of our elections. But Congress has so far failed to act. For these reasons, I will follow... The same practice Democrat members of Congress have in, in, in years past and object during the certification proje process on January 6th to raise these critical issues. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Josh Hawley. And this is, this is crazy. All right. I can't find the tweet, but oh yeah, he, he actually responded. He took a picture of it. Walmart went ahead and reported replied go ahead get your two-hour debate hashtag sore loser <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> what <laughs> all right so i don't know how many people have act actually saw this i didn't see the tweet i didn't see the tweet all right a lot of people are like oh it's fake oh it's real no no it's real it's real i mean i thought it was kind of fake until then i saw this Walmart came out and said the tweet published earlier was mistakenly posted by a member of our social media team. We deleted the post and have no intention of commenting on the subject of certifying the Electoral College. We apologize to Senator Howley for this error and any confusion about our position. <laughs> you know what's trending now? I bet you can, uh, you can guess. Yep. Boycott Walmart. I mean, we should have been boycotting Walmart for a long time. They're literally killing small businesses across the nation. If you really think about it, every time you go, every time I drive across the country, you know, I get into a small town. Guess what? There's at least one of a Walmart because they sell everything. It's the, the IRL Amazon, right? I mean, Basically, Amazon's taking over the internet. They're taking over streaming. They're taking over everything. Amazon, Facebook, Amazon, Twitter, YouTube. These these huge uh, people are taking over. But Walmart, really? You're gonna come out come out swinging? <laughs> it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. And uh, I'm you know I could read more about it, but I just I just I I don't want to. It's not worth my time. Like, come on, really, Walmart? do I I don't know I, I'm just proud of the fact that he's coming out and he's going to object to these elections to to these electoral votes I want to focus on that because I feel like Walmart's like let me cause some controversy and get people to stop thinking about the fact that this is actually him contesting the electors which is what we want right okay so I can talk about Walmart and be bah, 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 or this whole thing with like Hillary uh, uh, Baldwin. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, look, she changed her name and she faked her accent. Or maybe her whole family lives in Spain and she has, has Spanish family members and like, who cares? 
Why did people, why, why is that important? There, we have way more important things to focus on than if she, how she pronounces her name. I don't care. Pronounce your name however you want. That doesn't bother me at all. I don't care. You know what I do care about? Election fraud. You know, people stealing this election, which is what it feels like is going on. And you know what? I'll tell you what. A number of GOP Congress members to object the Electoral College vote grows. That's right. It's not just Josh Howley. There's more. And the number's growing. Let's check us out. Read this. More House members have said they will object to the Electoral College vote on January 6th as Senator Josh Howley announced he would join the effort. Rep uh, Representative-elect Ronnie Jackson said Tuesday that he would also object. I will vote on January 6th to challenge the Electoral College because the American people deserve a free and fair election. The fraud that did take place on Election Day cannot be allowed to stand, Jackson wrote. On Wednesday, Representative Jeff Duncan said he will join the effort, which is being led by Representative Mo Brooks. President Donald Trump spoke with Brooks and several other Republican House members earlier this month and backs their effort. On January 6, 2021, I plan to object uh, to the Electoral College certification from the states that experience these unprecedented issues like Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin, Duncan said in a statement. I plan to object for the people of the 3rd District of South Carolina and the millions of Americans who are demanding transparency into the 2020 election. We the people know this is a pivotal decision for our great country. May God bless the United States of America. Representative Jeff Van Drew also said Tuesday he would object to the electoral vote counts from the states that did not abide by the rule of law. Representative-elect Marjorie Taylor Greene said in an interview this week she has received word that even more lawmakers would join. We refuse to certify a stolen election, she told the Kyle Olson Show. As members of Congress, it is our duty to protect the integrity of our elections. Meanwhile, Howley became the first senator to announce that he will object to the certifications during the joint sessions of Congress. I cannot vote to certify the election results on January 6th without raising the fact that some states, well, this is the statement I actually just read uh, from his Twitter account, other than Howley, Senators Ted Cruz, Rick Scott, Kelly Lothar, Rand Paul, as well as Senator-elect Tommy Tuber Tuberman, have said that they are opening to the idea or open to the idea of object objecting to the electors. The move requires both one senator and one representative to carry out, which then triggers a two-hour debate and congressional vote on whether the state electors' votes are valid. But several GOP senators, including number two Republican John Thune, have said the bid will fail. The things have got uh, the thing they've got to remember is it's not going anywhere. I mean, in the Senate, it would be down like a shot dog. Thune said, told reporters last week, and I just don't think it makes a lot of sense to put everyone through this when you know what the ultimate outcome is going to be. And House Speaker Nancy Pelosi speaking to reporters Wednesday, she is confident Joe Biden will be declared the victor in Congress next week. I have no doubt that will happen, the California Democrat said. Well, I don't care what Nancy Pelosi has to say. My goodness. I just read an article that um, they're quiet, quietly trying to get rid of Nancy Pelosi. Which would be wonderful, if you ask me. Because, my goodness, that woman. Gosh, she's a freaking skeleton. We were joking about uh, He-Man earlier today. She's basically Skeletor. <laughs> no joke! She's basically Skeletor. And I, I just, my goodness, wow, this hat is actually quite warm. Um, my how, my hair is out. Look how long my hair is getting. My goodness, I'm very, I'm very Jesus-like right now. And uh, I'm, I'm honestly thinking about getting rid of my hair. I, I was thinking about getting rid of the beard, but now I'm thinking maybe, the, maybe the the hair. Cause keep the beard, get rid of the hair. Short, long, medium. I don't know. Doesn't matter. All right, where were we? Okay. I want to talk about something else too. You know what? Before it before I want to I, I want to finish this too. If it is contested though, okay? They say, "Well, no, nothing it's nothing's going to come from that." Yeah, well, if it does become contested though, Pence will Pence will decide. It will go to Pence and he'll be like, you know, we're seeing 
that they, I mean, we just saw it today. They just proved in the hearing that they can hack into the system. All right. So what's going to happen? You know, they can they can hack into the system. So that means they could have hacked into the system during the actual election of the 2020 presidential election. They just proved that they can hack into the system, the same systems that they're using right now. So what? That's not going to go anywhere when they prove to the Senate. So what they want to they want to piss off most of America. I feel like that's what they're going to do. I think Pence is going to see it and be like, look, the the fraud has been proven. This it's it's proven to be fraudulent. No, a lot of people are saying don't cut my hair. No, all right, I won't cut it. I'll put my hat back on. My sister made me this hat. I love it. I love it a lot. Uh, it's very warm and cozy, and uh, 